Welcome to Fixing with Friends. Jesse's going to give me a hand with flaring a brake line on my 1989 Oldsmobile Cutlass Calais. I've never flared brake lines before, and Jesse's never used this tool, so it's a bit of an interesting time. Uh, I apologize in advance. Uh, Jesse didn't have a lot of time, so we kind of rushed through filming, and it's also wind. Anyway, the episode is not the best one, but... Uh, if you're interested, give it a watch. Um, I'll give you a little bit of backstory. So the year before we filmed this, the Oldsmobile was out at a garage I was using. Then I noticed the brake line had seized, but I had to move the uh, brake line out of the way to fix whatever it was I was fixing, because uh, it was rusted, so then it ended up snapping and I replaced the brake line, but I didn't have time to flare it, so before I moved the car, I gave a temporary fix. Um, temporary, but like safe enough that it was okay to use, otherwise I would have just towed it. Um, yeah, so now, a year after the fact, we've come, come back and we're gonna fix it properly so that I can actually hopefully drive the car at some point. So, let's get to it. Oh, it was pretty well rusted in there last time. Yeah, but you cracked it recently. Well, like a, a year, year ago. ago. Yeah. I'm just gonna get a dab of brake fluid on my finger and just. Jesus, man, that is a hole in the side of your wheel well there. Oh, what? Really? No, like it's just how it is. Oh yeah, oh, there there was a mesh thing, but one time I took it into the shop, they just melted through it, because the uh, tie rod froze, but they didn't really give a shit, so. Do you just work on all your own stuff now? Yeah, especially since so many of the times I've taken it into a shop, it's they've done up. a worse job than me. Yeah. It's like, well, which is fair to an extent, because you, like, you don't have unlimited time, so you have to get the stuff done. Yeah, but they have the tool for you to go right. But and you're supposed to have the knowledge to do things right. But I do have the time to do it right regardless of whether or not... Um... But dude, seriously, that's like me too. Like, when I work on my own stuff, I probably do a better job than working on my stuff at work. Yeah. And again, that's... I, I take pride in my own shit, though. I take pride in my work too, but a lot of the time you have to get things out the door. Exactly. This is the worst part is trying to snake the stupid hose on. You using the box in? Or the open it? Oh, that's a good point. I should throw that on first. Been there, man. Well, I did the same thing last time, so I should have remembered. <laughs> I do it every time, man. It doesn't matter. Well, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> There we go. Let's get that work. Is it on? Nope. What car did I see the other day? Oh, someone was selling a um, 2004 Subaru Impreza wagon. 2500 bucks. So it had rod knock and I was like... Yeah, it's like, so the engine's gonna be blown? I might try and buy a Subaru for the winter. That'd be good. Well, I don't know what buying a used one is like. The thing is, the motors for them are cheap, man. Oh, good. Spend like eleven or twelve hundred bucks, and you're getting like a forty thousand, sixty thousand kilometer motor that you can put it into. It. Well, it's needed. And then I would just rip the old one apart and rebuild it. I'm gonna grab some new those pliers. You might need pliers. Yeah, it doesn't seem huh? like it. Yeah, last time I had to stretch it out quite a bit. Cut your car and keep it in hand. Yeah, I know. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do it up there, just because it just eats paint. Like nothing. So I use this kind of hose because it stays flexible, whereas the other one kind of hardens. But it yeah, is. Yeah, like this plastic hose up here. But it does a little bit too well. Yeah, 
that's the one I sort of usually use the vinyl, mm -hmm. but this silicone fish tank hose works much better, except it's a little bit small for this car. I have like, I use this, like this shitty silicone hose, but I have adapters for my pump, but I don't use my pump because the vacuum never works as good as actually pumping on the pedal. It takes two seconds to glue the brakes and you know what you're doing. I've been under there with my vacuum pump for like hours trying to get it to work and like this sucks. Because I'm pretty sure your vacuum has to be strong enough to overcome the check valve in the master cylinder. Alright. We are good to do the thing. Good to go. Okay. Do you want to pull the line? Well, I was going to say how much is in the reservoir now? Just because we've drained so much out. The reservoir is still full. Do you want to step on the brake a few times for me? Now. Yeah, I, no, no, I figured I would anyway. I wanted to make sure that there was no air in the line. Getting close. Right. So, um, do we want to YouTube how to do this first? No. Okay. As long as we're not doing the um, bubble flare, it should be fine. I love how, is it? Yeah, low thread pitch these are, so you have to just twist it and twist it and twist oh, it. Oh, fine. Yeah. When I was working on aircraft engines, we had to measure the specific things to get an exact bolt and then order the fasteners. Okay, so do you see what I did? So this is a little piece of silicone to make it. It was a, it was a fake flare, basically. Yeah, so we I... need to cut that. Okay. The thing is, like, if you flick, because you cut this with something that wasn't a pipe cutter. Right. If you don't cut that properly, it's going to not seal. But it did okay with the silicone. We can just reflare this. How well, let's let's give it a try. Worst case, we can cut it again. How's this one? Can you pull that one out? Yeah, oh, so it is a bubble. Thing. But yeah, a double flare would be fine. Okay, let's YouTube this. I just know that a single flare is... It may work, but if you pull it out again, apparently it'll like crack the thin wall. Big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. I'll give it a try. In this case, I can throw the piece of silicone back on. A little uncertain because it's kind of uneven. But yeah, that'll f seal that. Okay. Bring that in for me. <laughs> a little too far. So as you can see, the flare is actually quite small. Just make note of that as you watch. Is supposed to be on this. Oh, yeah, I don't tight. worry about it. Snug it. Do you see it? Or you can watch on there. Yep. It's bubbling. So I can try tightening it a bit more. Now fill this and hit the brake a few times and we'll know if it's going to seal. Here, can you put this back? It's clearly not sealed. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, we can cut it and start from scratch, and then we don't have to worry about doing it again. Yeah, but we need a proper cutter. Uh, like one of the ones that you use for... Tighten and go around? Yeah. Yeah. I have a little one for plumbing work. Yeah, it's perfect. Success. Success. end up with a lot bigger of a flare than what we started with last time. 
All right, let's just push it all the way in and see how that goes. Because I think part of the problem is they started out with I it in the I think we just vice. need to keep running it all the way in. And it'll le le even itself out. I think that we f***ed up the one side too much. Because it was off center. And I think the one side is going to be flat and the other side is going to be bubbled. If we, uh, if we run the file over it, we might have some luck. No, you don't want to file that. Oh, we will. Trust me. You see on this bottom? Oh, side? that's f yeah. That's what I was telling you about. We're before. not we're not fixing that. Okay. All right, we'll just buy a. So you said you can buy flexible hose for this? Because why don't you just go see if you get a preformed line for this? You can't. We can just get more and then rebend the line again. Even on Rock Auto? Nowhere. Well, it makes sense. Brake lines are something you can, like, this didn't take too much effort to bend it into place. It Watch it seal. <laughs> hey. That would be hilarious. I'm going to fix it. It's, there's like, there's no way as it is it's going to work. If I smoothen it out a little bit, it still probably won't work, but it has a better chance of working. So I have to apologize. Uh, I forgot to turn the camera back on, but we put the brake line back in and this is where we're at now. Time. Whoops. That's sealed, boys. <laughs> That's too funny. Well. I guess that's where we ended up cutting it. Uh, I did bleed all four corners. There was still air trapped in the master cylinder, so I'm gonna have to do a brake bleed for that, like a, a bench bleed. Yeah. When the master cylinder is at an angle like it is in that car, a little bit of air gets trapped up at the front. Um, so yeah, I'll have to take it off, do a bench bleed when it's level, and then put it back on the car. I've never done a bench bleed before, so it'll be interesting to do, but that's for another day. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're enjoying them. I don't know why you would, but hey, thanks for watching. Uh, and then yeah, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for um, doing brake lines, alternatives, Obviously, if you cut a line, you have to reflare the end regardless. You'll get lines in, in stock sizes, and then you have to cut them to the size you need. Not to mention the fittings may not be correct. Anyway, yeah. Leave us any tips and suggestions, or comments on the format. Sorry again about all the wind. Anyway, see you later.